receiver this is a receiver specification called as sensitivity so if you remember the block diagram we had majorly you know two blocks we had divided we said one is tx other one is rx right then we had an antenna here okay we had an antenna like this okay so this sensitivity it's a receiver specification so let's let's see what it is so look at this system so i'm talking only about the receiver so i have an antenna here so this is the antenna so the signal from air comes like this to the antenna it enters the rf receive system then if you remember we had baseband also so it goes to baseband receive system like this okay so this is how your system will be so where is the signal coming from let's say on the tx side you had some signal you sent it over the air let's say it, it went through the air channel if you if it's a mobile phone let's say it goes to the tower for example then from tower it comes back to the receiver okay these are two way communication right so obviously some information will come from there to the receiver so that is this information now what happens is as the signal travels from transmitter to air to tower and then you get some some information back its signal power if i plot something like this right let's say this was at tx once it receives rx and let's say this is distance you can see that it would have reduced like this okay let's say this was the signal level that you transmitted let's say this was the signal power that you transmitted this value once it comes to receiver it will be very very small it will be like this it will be very small okay now the question is if i give this small signal right this is a very low power signal if i give this signal will i be able to detect and demodulate in the baseband what do you mean by detect and demodulate if i am sending some tx information let's say it goes through tower and all that it comes back to rx the rx signal because of noise because of the distance and all that it would have come as a very small level signal at the receiver now if i give you this small level signal the question is will my system be able to understand what is the information that is being sent if the system cannot find out what is the information then basically it's useless right that in that signal level whatever we received is useless we cannot because our system could not find out what was the information it will just say it is all noise and you won't you will lose the information so sensitivity if you look at the definition will tell you the a minimum signal power that the baseband rx system expects to intelligently demodulate and decode the received signal to a meaningful information that means what is the minimum expectation what is the minimum signal level that i want right that my system expects so that it can accurately you know decode and demodulate and tell you that okay this is the information if we don't meet that minimum criteria the system cannot uh, demodulate it it will say that it's all noise and you're basically losing the information so that's what is the sensitivity definition so this implies baseband rx system specifies what signal it requires that means who decides uh, what is the minimum signal required for example baseband can for example tell you okay where if you are a baseband designer you will say that okay this is the minimum signal level that i want okay so you have as a designer you control that saying that this is the minimum uh, system uh, level i want okay what is this specification this is called as expected snr or minimum snr now when we talk about mobile phones in 4g or 5g i cannot randomly choose this number so i told you about the 3gpp the standards body okay or if you're talking about wireless lan wifi then there is ieee right standards so always these standards will tell you what is the minimum expected signal that is required
Okay, so how we calculate this number? So there is an equation. So it is K, this is a small letter K, capital letter D, B, N, F, S, N, R. Okay, most of the terms in this equation you already know. So let's see what equation, what are those uh, you know, terms. So first is K, uh, K is a Boltzmann constant, so you cannot change it really, so you always use it. T is temperature, so again this can be changed uh, based on where uh, your system is. So if you are operating in the lab or if you have a typical mobile phone application, this is the number. But let's say if you are operating in space where the temperatures are extreme, then this part changes, okay? Temperature changes in space. So if you are operating, if you're doing, doing a space application, then you have to take a different value of T. Now K is a Boltzmann constant. So typically K, T together, the reason they are being used is every electronic device, as I told you, it generates its own noise. So there is a minimum noise level that every system generates, okay? Some systems can be bad, some systems can be good. But the basic physics says that because of electron movement, there is always some minimum noise that is generated. So that minimum noise is the product of K and T. So it is dependent definitely on the temperature because if the temperature increases, the electron movement also is more, right? So that means the noise is also more. But if the temperature is low, the movement is less. Okay, so it is dependent on temperature. So typically in all our applications that we design for consumer electronics, you can take KT. I told you everything we turn, take it in dB scale as a standard number. Minus 174 dBm per Hertz. It's also called as noise floor because as I told you, this is the minimum noise that every system generates. You will see this minimum noise. You cannot remove it. It is always there. Okay, so that's why it's called as noise floor. So that is KT. What is the second term that we discussed? This is bandwidth. So as I told you, we always operate within a bandwidth. We don't operate on an infinite range of frequencies. We have to operate within a band or a bandwidth. Okay, that is a bandwidth. What is noise figure? So we discussed about noise figure. Noise figure tells you how much noise is added by a system. So there is noise floor, this is the minimum noise, then your system is not ideal. It's not a perfect device, right? It adds its own noise and that noise is noise figure. Okay, finally, there is something called as SNR expected. What is SNR expected? That means the baseband input, for example, it will tell you, I need this level of signal to noise ratio. Okay, without this signal to noise ratio, I cannot detect the signal. So this is this is the bare minimum. So using this bare minimum, you calculate the minimum signal power. Okay. So in SNR, SNR is signal to noise, right? So what we are doing, we are calculating this minimum signal. Okay. Minimum signal. See this minimum signal. That is what we are trying to calculate. So this is the equation. So it's not it's not the job of only you know antenna or the RF system or baseband system. All three systems have to work together to achieve this target. Please click on like and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates.